Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'll be showing how to use the MIG Switch flash cartridge for the Nintendo Switch and give my thoughts on it. Big thank you, very big thank you to MIG Switch United for sending me over a unit to review. If you would like to purchase your own MIG Switch flash cartridge or dumper, there will be an affiliate link in the description. Purchasing with this link or using coupon code MANITO at checkout at MIG Switch United will help support me and the channel. And you will get 5% off of your order. Mix Switch United also offers free shipping. Thank you for your support. Before we jump into the review and tutorial, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community. So, what is the MIG Switch flash cartridge? Well, it's a flash cart for the Nintendo Switch, first of its kind. This works with all Switch models. The V1 Switch, V2, OLED, Switch Lite, if it's a Switch, it can use this. And modding your console is technically not required. I say technically because there's some more info that needs to be talked about. More on that later. The MIG Switch flash cart allows you to load your own game dumps all from a single cartridge, which means there's no need to carry around multiple cartridges and risk losing your physical games. The only real limitation is how big of an SD card you put in here. Now me, I usually carry my physical game collection in my Switch case. So here, show off some of my games. Got a lot of physical games and digital, but a lot of physical. I mean, as, as you can probably tell by the shelf right there, <laughs> right behind me. What if I misplaced my case or it's stolen and I, I can't simply re-download my physical collection. I would have to repurchase my lost or stolen games. With the MIG Switch, however, you see, you see what I'm getting at with this? I can dump my games and play them from a single cartridge while my collection is safe at home. You can use the MIG Switch as you would normally use your Switch game cartridges. You can even play online without a risk of being banned, as long as you dump the necessary files and only one person at a time is using your cartridge. And what do I mean by that? Every Switch cartridge has a unique ID. Even two copies of, let's say, Skyward Sword HD have unique IDs. If you were to dump a game and play it on the MIG Switch at the same time someone else is using the original cartridge, I believe you both could be banned from Nintendo Online services. So take note of that, do research, and be careful. And with that, it's time to unbox the MIG Switch. Here we are with the MIG Switch flash cartridge, and it's a very small box. Make a change, MIG Switch. Join the revolution. It's the back of the box. And let's see, okay, opening it up. Oh, the sticker didn't tear the box. That's good. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't come with a micro SD card, so you'll need to have your own. Separate from the micro SD card that you use with your Switch. I'll be using a 200 gigabyte micro SD card. Here's a few disclaimers before setting up the micro SD card. In this tutorial, as it goes with all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, but some steps may be different. There are two ways to dump your games. The first way is by having a modded or moddable switch. If you aren't sure if yours is moddable, check my noob-friendly guide in the description. If you don't have a modded switch, that's okay. You can still purchase the MIG Switch Dumper. In this video, I'll be using my modded switch to dump games. A video on the dumper will be linked in the description. Last but not least, a USB SD card reader. This is what I'll be using to dump my games to, and I highly recommend getting one. It's not required, but it'll make things quicker. More on that later. Now let's begin with the setup of the SD card for the MIG Switch flash cartridge. Connect the SD card you'll be using with the MIG Switch into your computer. The SD card I'm using is FAT32. So I'll be formatting it to XFAT as that is required for the MIG Switch SD card. There we go. 
Open up your browser and search up MakeSwitch. Click here, MakeSwitch.com. There's a readme here that you must read. Check and click accept. I'll be going over the user guide here on MakeSwitch.com. If anything is different on the website when you are following the guide, make sure to use the updated instructions found on the website over the ones I'm giving in this video. Click Downloads and Instructions, and we'll be downloading the latest firmware for the MigSwitch cart. At the time of recording, it's at version 1.1.3. If it's at a higher version when you're following this guide, use that version. Click to download, open it, and extract it. Move update.s2 to the root of the MigSwitch SD card. The root of the SD card is the main directory of the SD card. The next download is MIG Dump Tool. You can use this or NX Dump Tool to dump your games with your modded Switch. I'll be using MIG Dump Tool for this tutorial. Download the latest NRO executable release, not source code. There we go. Now, move the NRO to the Switch folder on your modded Switch SD card, not to the MIG Switch SD card. I'll be moving this file over to my modded Switch via FTP wireless file transferring. If you're interested in that, I have a video in the description. Now eject the MIG switch SD card, place it into the MIG switch, and insert the MIG switch into your switch. The LED light will flash blue for a short moment. When it's finished updating, the LED will stop flashing and remain blue. It's done updating. On the MIG switch website, click on back up your games. Scroll down, and there are three ways to dump your games. The Mix Switch Dumper, MIG Dump Tool, and NX Dump Tool. In this video, I'll be using MIG Dump Tool. I'll have separate videos for both the Mix Switch Dumper and NX Dump Tool linked in the description. On your modded switch, insert the cartridge you'd like to dump. Open the homebrew menu via Title Takeover, and launch MIG Dump Tool. You'll be greeted with these options. Easy one-click dump, output storage, and advanced options. You can leave advanced options alone. Go to output storage, and right now the only options I have are micro SD card and PC. If I plug my MIG switch SD card into my USB SD card adapter and connect it to my switch, it'll show up here. These are the methods of dumping your games. To your switch micro SD card, connecting your switch to your computer via USB cable, and USB storage. USB storage is the recommended method, and that's what I'll be using in this video. I'll now select UMSO XFAT, press B, and I'll click on Easy One-Click Dump. Now, when you're dumping your game, it may take a while depending on the file size of your game. In the meantime, stand up, do a little stretch, get some water, a snack, Maybe take a bathroom break, or go outside and breathe in that fresh air. And congrats! Job done! I'll be doing this with a few more games. Alright, exit, close, pop in a new game, and repeat the process. Also, you do have to manually select where you want to output the game dumps if it's not to the Switch microSD card. The Switch microSD card is the default output place for your game dumps. Now, exit to the home menu, pop the SD card into the MIG switch, and... The games seem to be loading, at least here on the home menu. Unfortunately, this doesn't include some sort of pop-up menu where you can easily select your games. You'll need to manually remove and reinsert the cartridge to swap games. Maybe MIG switch will include some sort of Bluetooth button in a future release? That would be good for those playing docked and even handheld. Then you'd have no reason to remove the cartridge unless you were going to swap the SD card out or add games. Time to test out a few games. Performance seems to be the same as using the actual cartridges themselves. I'm not running any tests, but going off of how it feels, well, it feels just as good as playing with the legit cartridges. As you can see here, I do have the Five Nights at Freddy's cartridge, which has FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, and Sister Location. And when I dumped 
the game, it included all of them, which is pretty nice. And just to clarify, yes, the cartridge does include all of these games. So, what are my thoughts on this? Well, as someone who likes to purchase their games physically, I think it's great. I don't need to worry about potentially losing my physical games if I only take the mix switch with me. I can leave my physical games at home safe and sound. You're probably wondering, is this thing worth the money? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Mix Switch United provided this to me free of charge for a review. However, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. To me, this is worth it as I own a modded Switch, and I can easily dump my games to use with the Mix Switch. The unfortunate thing is that at the time of making this video, I believe the dumper isn't being sent out yet. Which means that while you can use the Mix Switch with an unmodded Switch, you need a modded switch to dump your games at the time of recording this. So right now, there is only a small number of people that can actually use a MIG switch as intended. To wrap up my thoughts, I think it's a really neat device, but unless you have a modded switch or the dumper, you really won't be able to use this. Once that dumper comes out though, it'll change things as more people will be able to dump their games. If you don't have a modded switch or a dumper, then maybe hold off on getting this until you can get either of those. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and review. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Let me know if you're thinking about picking a mix switch up. If you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know as well. Shout out to my channel members, thank you for your support, and thank you for watching until the end. On the left you'll see a playlist for switch modding tutorials, and on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. I highly recommend checking out my other Switch modding guides. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Pax Christi.